Very good evening, everyone. I'm Shilpa, moderator for this session. Today, our topic of discussion is Common Law Admission 2023 Counseling. And our agenda for the session would be to understand CLAT counseling and seat allotment process, number of rounds, uh, checking merit list, registration process, fee and refund, documents required. And of course, we will be answering all your queries. But before we proceed, those who have just joined this session today, we are discussing about CLAT Council 2023. So if you have any questions, feel free to put them either in the Q&A box or in the chat section, and I will get those answered by our today's expert. Our expert has joined in, so please let me introduce him. So today we have Mr. Rajneesh Singh. You are the founder of CLAT Essential and Educationist and IIT Dhanbad alumni. I heartily welcome you, sir. Thank you. Thank you, Shilpa. Thanks a lot. And again, I welcome all of you to this webinar. I know you have many questions. Please start posting them. And so the moment we started registration for this webinar, we received many questions. So some common ones I have picked up and would like you to address it. So the first one is like, can you please tell us about this CLAT exam and how to prepare for it this year? But I would request you to please answer it briefly because our topic of discussion is on counseling. Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, preparation of uh, for CLAT 2024, uh, which will be conducted in uh, December 2023. Uh, well, it's very difficult to answer very briefly, but then fine. I mean, uh, uh, seeing the pattern last four years, the last four CLAT, which uh, after the pattern got changed uh, in 2020, <clears throat> the emphasis has been a lot on uh, reading comprehension, the logical ability. Uh, analytical ability is uh, not being tested uh, that big time. But what is being uh, tested a lot is that, what is your general uh, knowledge seeking aptitude? By that I mean, are you a person who is a regular reader of a newspaper? Uh, or, uh, or do you watch regularly a news channel? Or are you a person who, who seeks, who is very uh, hung hungry to know about what is going on uh, around the world? So uh, that has helped a lot even in uh, this year because GK was not very traditional. It was a little offbeat, uh, but it helped a lot to those persons who were actually genuinely reading. They, were, uh, they had a desire to know what is going on uh, uh, around the world. And, uh, uh, and, and, and that has helped a lot. So a lot of reading, a lot of reading of genuine stuffs will help a lot. Uh, and I would say that uh, keep taking mock tests uh, merely taking the mock test will not help. Uh, try to take a mock test which is uh, genuinely to the pattern of new pattern of CLAT. Uh, also, try to analyze the strategy along with the question analysis is very, very important. Keep yourself uh, getting enriched and then it will help you a lot. Thank you for answering that, sir. Uh, next up, we have already <coughs> a set of questions in our Q&A box and it's all related to uh, the rank and the uh, college they would get. So I will yeah. start reading it one by one, sir. Uh, are you sure, feeling sure. okay, sir? Can I start? Yeah, sure, sure. Okay. Mm -hmm. So first one is I have a low rank of 11,151, but the preference set to the top 11 NLUs. I have a domicile of Haryana, but do not look forward to seek admission to NLU, Sony, but should I go for counseling? Uh, the rank is? 11,151. Okay, uh, I don't think uh, uh, being from the general category, although the domicile of Haryana is there, uh, and if the person is not willing to go for uh, Sonipat, then uh, I think uh, it's all. Uh, it's sure that the person will not be getting any seat. Okay, uh, thank uh, you. What What I would advise is the maybe after twenty fifth of June. Uh, I think the date is uh, after twentieth of June. The counseling centralized counseling process will get over. After that, uh, if uh, you change your mind, uh, you can try for some of the vacant seats in the different NLUs. Uh, so next up, we have a question from a person who is from Assam. My mm -hmm. category-wise ranking is Assam ST Hill rank is three. My question is that I wanted to get admission in NLU Assam, but the seat for ST is only two. Will I get admission? Uh, what is the ST rank? ST rank is said to be the ST Hill rank is three. 
and mm. uh, but the seat for st is only two that means her okay. rank is three still there is a chance there is a chance because uh, uh, when it comes to these kind of category seats it is highly unpredictable the reason is uh, it fluctuates a lot the entire process the listing everything depends upon a lot of other things also uh, there is a fair chance why do i say so because uh, uh, this is a very initial process where lot of counseling or the admission process of lot of private un uh, universities which is which which also uh, some of them are very good are still not done it will be done in may june july so that time again the vacant seats might get created maybe the person who takes the seat may not, might not like to take up the seat right now but later there is a chance to get vacated also uh, next up again we have a question related to the rank only can i get any national law university with 31132 rank uh, uh 31000 uh, i mean it's also depends upon uh, does the person have uh, any quota uh, and which category the person belongs to but uh, in a general category it doesn't seem to be any chance uh, so next up we have a question what about 3467 rank will i be getting any ip uh, uh, will i be getting any ip ip means no. okay so asha you have to confirm what exactly ip means here and then we'll get back to your question yeah, yeah. and uh, next up we have a question from tanveer kaur Till mm -hmm. which rank should one enroll for counseling so that thirty thousand doesn't get wasted? Uh, uh, as I as I as I was saying, like this entire counseling process, the cutoffs are uh, are very really fluctuating, highly fluctuating. It it a lot depends upon uh, that. Uh, uh, I mean, uh, uh, has the counseling process of other institutes have been done? What is the timing? Because it's being done for the first time in month of December, which is too early. I think everyone will like to block a seat for themselves. So the movement of seat uh, will not happen. Uh, uh, CLAT counseling, every year they have been doing well. I think I'll appreciate uh, CLAT a lot. They have been improving a lot. As I can see uh, that every year they are learning from the mistakes what they have done previously. So this year they have they are doing it much smartly. They are coming up with two lists in the beginning, and then uh, maybe uh, another three, four lists. Uh, two, sorry, three four more lists will come in May and June. So these two lists, uh, I think everyone would like to block a seat, unless they are not at all interested for an NLU. They would like to block the seat. There's one very good move again from CLAD this year. What they have done is they have uh, uh, they have uh, introduced a fee of non-refundable fee of 20,000 rupees as a confirmation fee. Now that will ensure that, uh, I mean, uh, non-serious candidates will not like to actually enroll for that. So that will also, that may may have uh, create some movements in the second list. But after second list also, there's uh, less likely that there'll be movement. Uh, maybe in the fourth and the fifth list, again, we can see a movement. So it, a lot depends upon uh, uh, how it will happen this year. But as far as general category is concerned, there are 1,503 or 1,507 seats are there uh, based on the past records and seeing the number of seats which has been increased this year. Uh, I, I can fairly say that uh, maybe 16 to 1,800, maybe surprisingly 1,900, it will close by the fifth list. In the second list, the movement will be there. It might not be to a great extent. Now, if someone wants to participate uh, to get an NLU, it also depends upon which NLU is the target. Uh, pre seeing the pa past year cutoff will help. Accordingly, one can take a call. But if someone has a domicile uh, or someone has a other quota uh, they have, uh, depending upon that, they can check the domicile or they can ask right now, I can help that till what rank they can expect a seat. And accordingly, they can put that money. Again, uh, uh, I would say that 30,000 rupees which you will be putting up is 100% refundable provided you exit at the right time. The moment you start participating uh, by, by because there will be three buttons like freeze, float uh, and exit. So if you exit at the right time, full uh, refund is possible. 
Thank you for guiding us, sir. And this last point was actually very helpful for all of us because most of the students are confused about this. Uh, next yeah, up, yeah. we have a question from Arya Raj, and he's asking, <laughs> my All India rank is 2170. Okay. So which college is most likely to be allotted to me if I participate in counseling? Uh, assuming that uh, you are from general category and you don't have any domicile quota. In that case, uh, it is almost, uh, there is no chance that you will be allotted a seat in the centralized counseling. But but uh, I would suggest that you should put that 30,000 uh, rupees in case you are interested in some of the uh, bottom five NLUs. Maybe surprisingly, it gets allotted because as I told you that, uh, it's not very easy. It's a very tough task for them to uh, allot because there are several types of reservations. There's... Uh, among them also, there can be vertical, there can be horizontal. Instead of getting the technicality, how exactly horizontal and vertical works, uh, I would just tell, tell you all that. Uh, because of that, even the cutoff fluctuates. Uh, this is why it's very difficult to say where that, that will stop. Like for instance, Bangalore has 25% of the seats uh, reserved for, uh, for domicile uh, uh, out of the 115 uh, general quota seats. Now, but it depends. It's a horizontal one. It's not a vertical one. So it's not necessarily that many seats will go. It depends upon uh, also that how many are already able to uh, clear the cutoff without domicile quota. So this is why it fluctuates. So being on safer side, you can put up that money and at the right time you can exit. But at this particular rank, uh, I think three to, three to six or seven NLUs are possible. After 20th of June, you need to apply for the vacant seats, uh, which uh, you'll have to visit the NLU websites. And uh, there you can uh, uh, try for, for getting NLUs. So, sir, till now we have received 50 plus questions. I think even you can see it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, I'll just quickly start taking up those questions. Uh, next up, we have a question. Is it compulsory to fill counseling fees to be eligible to apply for the vacant seats? Mm, no, it, it's not because they have clearly mentioned it. But uh, uh, being on safer side, maybe you can. Although, all or you can uh, uh, ask a query with them. You can uh, uh, call helpline or mail them to be confirmed on this. But as I see at the like last year, as they have been doing, there is a clear mention that uh, after twentieth of June, whatever vacant seats arise, NLUs will take care of that. In that case, uh, centralized uh, counseling will be over, consortium uh, do, uh, job is done, and all the respective NLUs will take care of the vacant seats. So in that case, uh, it doesn't matter whether you have filled up that counseling fee or not. But as I told you, just to make sure, you should actually uh, put up this query to the CLAT consortium and get, get uh, certified. Uh, so next up, we have a question from Aryan, and he's asking about which NLU can I get if I have a rank of All India rank? Okay, if I have All India rank of 807. 807. Yeah. Uh, it also depends upon the preference list, Aryan. Uh, but I would say that, uh, see, how the seats are allotted, it is allotted, number one, uh, what rank you have achieved and at that rank, which all NLUs are achievable. So I would say that uh, in the by the second list uh, or maybe by the fifth list later when it gets upgraded, if you keep your float option open, uh, then uh, uh, according to that, I would say that uh, RG Enel Patiala, NLU Odisha is among the top uh, 12 uh, NLUs is very much possible. Even an annual Kochi is possible. Among top 12, I'm talking about. Uh, uh, and uh, others like might be Lucknow also might be possible or maybe Bombay, uh, but uh, not 100% sure. But also now among these three, which I said, which is surely possible or two, the other two, which is likely to be there, uh, whichever is the most preferred one, uh, according to your preference list, will be allotted to you. So what they do is, Whichever is achievable, among them, whichever is the most preferred uh, by you. So they try their best to give you the most preferred one. Uh, but cutoff has to be cleared. By putting something unrealistically high, you don't get any advantage, but you might be in a disadvantage. So it also depends upon how you have filled up the preference list. 
Uh, sir, next up we have a father and mm. he's asking on the behalf of his daughter. So mm -hmm. basically his daughter has secured all India rank of 2149 in CLAT 2023. So mm -hmm. she belongs to general category from West Bengal. Mm -hmm. So any suggestion for her? Uh, just just for a for a, for a sake of uh, uh, participating, maybe you can uh, put up that thirty thousand rupees. And if you're interested in some of the NLUs which is uh, allotted uh, till the end, you maybe you can try your luck. Although there seems to be almost no chance of getting uh, NLU allotted in the D seats. At least in the first two lists, there is absolutely no chance because a lot of people will hold the seat uh, uh, unless they get uh, Symbiosis Pune, Noida, JGLS or uh, Nirma or other institutes. So, uh, but you are highly likely to get, uh, uh, almost it's 100% uh, sure that you'll be getting three to five to seven NLUs wherever you apply in the vacancies because this rank is quite good if not very good it's a good rank i hope that answered that sir uh, your question and the next step we have a question uh, so she is asking my general rank is 2569 2569 and the woman rank is appear to be 1255 so mm -hmm. which nlu i'm likely to get if i am among the lower ones and if I get a lower national law university, will it be better to choose private college or other colleges over it? Yeah, the, I think the same same answer, like what I said before, because uh, uh, getting a seat in the centralized counseling is, doesn't seem to be possible unless there is a, some domicile quota or some other quotas are there. Assuming that the uh, child is from uh, the general quota and uh, uh, with domicile, it is not possible. Like if it is West Bengal only, then it, it is likely to close around before 600 rank this year, like between 550 to 600. Uh, but uh, uh, so again, in the vacant seat, uh, the candidate should try and uh, likely to get uh, at least one in a Lewis short shot. Okay. And so there was a, was a second question also, uh, should that uh, person... Private, private college, uh, exactly, exactly. I would say that... Uh, uh, JGLS is a uh, class apart, General Global Law School, that's that's being termed and has a global rank and that's uh, the fees being high. So depends upon uh, one can afford the fee. If not, then scholarship with scholarship, 24th January, they have an exam. So JGLS is being compared now with uh, among the top six colleges. Uh, some uh, For some, it is top four college. But uh, leaving out Jindal, uh, I think Symbiosis Pune and Symbiosis Noida, these two are the colleges, including maybe Nirma is also there. Uh, there are a few more colleges. Uh, uh, GLC Bombay, Government Law College Mumbai through CT Maharashtra is a very good college. So I would say if someone doesn't get uh, till NLU Katak, which is NLU Odisha, I would advise to go for these colleges. These are certainly better colleges, overall uh, better colleges, although it depends upon the preference. Uh, next, NLUs, which are better in this category after the top 12, uh, uh, you have again, again one more option. You can call it as 13 because you have Silvasa GNLU campus. So we have now 13 colleges. Apart from these, uh, there, are, uh, there, is, there are four more colleges which are quite established, Patna, Ranchi, Assam, and Vizag. Nagpur among the new ones is also coming up very well. Uh, and uh, uh, apart from these, I would say uh, there are some other options like Nalsar has come up with BBA uh, IPM course. Uh, I am Rohtak has come up with a, a BBA LLB course. So through CLAT also, you can apply to a lot of other NFSU, which I'll be taking a session tomorrow for on behalf of uh, the university. Uh, that is, they, they have come up with a uh, course which is related to technology law, which is very happening thing. Uh, that is also a very good option. The first year I saw that the cutoff went up to 6,000, but next year it was around 4,000. This year it might close around 2,000, 2,500. So uh, that has a Delhi campus too, but at least the Ahmedabad is, uh, uh, I'm sure that course is very, very good. So that is also a very good option. Uh, so uh, instead of joining a bottom NLU, this can be. But uh, even the bottom NLUs are flourishing well. That is also a quite good option. 
Uh, so, sir, next up, we have a question. If the All India rank comes to be 2000 plus, uh, would you advise to not join any national law university, but try for SLAT or try for the top five NLUs next year? Yeah, I think I think it'll already answered in this one. I would strongly advise that to go for a college like Symbiosis Pune or uh, uh, Noida, the colleges which I which I mentioned. But if someone can uh, either afford the fees or gets a good scholarship in uh, for Jindal, then Jindal is definitely the uh, is is has uh, come up up as an elite college now. The placements are amazing now, and uh, other other parameters is doing very well. Uh, previously, they were struggling with quality of students, but now the cutoff is going quite uh, to a good reasonable level, at least for the BBLLB and BLLB. These three courses, 300, 300, 600 seats are there. For these 600 seats, last year, incidentally, the cutoff was 60 percentile, but last to last year, it was strictly 80 percentile. So uh, the quality of students around is also good. So uh, if that can be there, then obviously that's that's the best option after this. Uh, so next up, we have a question from Myra Agrawal. She has the Karnataka domicile and got the rank of 1,311. So which okay. college she can expect? Oh, Bangalore is not there. Uh, uh, that's that's a bad luck. Uh, but uh, at 1300, I would say uh, uh, general category, Karnataka domicile. Uh, I would say you would be unluckily missing out on Patiala, Odisha and Noals Kochi. Most likely you'll be missing. Let's, let's, uh, let's hope that you get through any of these three. If you get through, definitely that's a very good option, if not excellent. These colleges are doing quite well. Uh, but you are uh, uh, definitely the other four, which I talked about, Patna, Ranchi, Assam, and uh, Vizag. Uh, these, these are certain for you. Uh, although uh, every other college, uh, other 10, 12 NLUs, which, uh, which I didn't mention, that is also, that you can choose. I mean, uh, whether in the vacant seats you can shift, uh, but you will be definitely allotted uh, in the very first list. And then upgrade will keep happening. You should keep the float option open till the end, till the 5th June, wait till there. You'll be allotted uh, definitely a good college. So next up, I can see five to six questions uh, sent by the students who have got the similar rank of 26,000 plus. So mm -hmm. is there any chances for them to get any MLU and can they get any private college? Uh, private college, which I mentioned, uh, Semises through SLAT, uh, GLC Bombay is through CT Maharashtra. But there are many colleges like UPS, there are Don Christ is there, uh, 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 Marwadi College is there, uh, there is uh, Nirma, I already mentioned, but Nirma has a cutoff of around 3000 rank. So that is not possible. But there are many colleges which are possible, maybe another 100, 150 colleges are there, which are definitely possible uh, through this rank. But uh, I'm not sure how the good the quality would be. Uh, so next up, we have a question. My general rank is uh, 1,377 and my NRI sponsored rank is 197. In mm -hmm. which college can I get through NRI sponsored and when will the NRI sponsored admission start? Uh, NRI sponsored category, uh, uh, in case you are eligible to that, if the sponsor, you have blood relation with a sponsor. For NLIU Bhopal, it's 100% sure, but then uh, one has to have the first degree relationship. That is first degree means either your parents or own siblings of your parents are uh, are are, uh, are the sponsor uh, or maybe the grandparents, only these. Otherwise, you are not eligible. But uh, just Kolkata and uh, Jodhpur has, has NRI sponsored seats, uh, 20 and 18. But uh, here it is a borderline case. I think uh, if I go by the last year cutoff, then it's such a borderline case and the history also, if I see the of the cutoff. So uh, maybe if you're lucky, you might get through. You need to have again a blood relation. Gandhinagar is also 100% sure. Uh, other, obviously, needless to say that uh, you can apply to uh, Katak and Mumbai and uh, Lucknow. Here also you have an RI sponsored. Uh, Patiala and Raipur does not have NRI sponsored. They have only NRI. The candidate has to be NRI. Bangalore and Nalsar has foreign national seats and not the NRI sponsored. 
sir uh, next up we have a question from mahima chaudhary yeah. uh, she is saying <laughs> i have a rank of 5888 at flat mm -hmm. pg i am a st student from jammu and kashmir my category st rank is 136 and migrant rank is 11 will i get any national law university there are jammu and kashmir seats uh, you should definitely try for this uh, it's it fluctuates a lot so i cannot predict it whether but uh, there are less chance i would say definitely say it is on the lesser side uh, but uh, you must try for it and uh, you will have to apply separately like uh, even for the i mean there are three three categories uh, like nra sponsored jammu and kashmir and northeast quota for these uh, the application has to be filled separately to that respective nlu you should keep looking checking at the website uh, there uh, the notifications will be there and the uh, consortium does not look after this so you will have to apply at the right time and uh, uh, keep trying in ug as well as pg uh, the seats of uh, jammu and kashmir residents are there so you should apply there uh, so sir next up we have a comparison question uh, yeah. so a uh, question says which is the better university nirma university or ip mm. uh, see ip is a university which has lots of colleges uh, if you ask me us lls uh, is the best one among ip uh, us lls and nirma university uh, i would rate it as at par after that is there is a good gap uh, next one is viveka viveka is coming up well uh, after uh, uh, ip mit got uh, uh, got out of the ip university like mit had a had a had a branch uh, which was under ip now they have they are autonomous so once it is out viveka is gaining but still us lls and nirma i would rate as as at par uh, so uh, so the next question is once we confirm admission during centralized counseling but would like to move to a vacant seat in the another national law university will the submitted fee be refunded no that 20000 you'll have to that will be non refundable it's very clearly mentioned it might be 5 more thousand might be deducted if you don't exit at the right time but if you exit at the right time that 30000 is definitely refundable uh, but uh, but in case you are allotted a seat and you are paying that uh, confirmation fees of 20000 rupees uh, that is non refundable so that they are not going to refund uh, but that is a adjustable fees like say if you take admission that 30 plus 20 50000 is fully fully adjustable to the fee but that is uh, that 20000 is not refundable so uh, we have a follow up question from aditya bhandari on what you said so mm. he is asking sir do we get refund after counseling is over and moreover we are not getting any seat allotted yeah yeah if, if the seat is not allotted the entire 30000 will be refunded that's that's for sure i mean uh, th there'll be a date uh, but uh, there is a exit date for that that uh, the 10th of june is the exit date if the if if the exit is done at the right time then the then then uh, it is refundable anyway if seat is not at all allotted the fee will be anyway refundable uh sir next up we have a question which nlu uh, a person can expect in the fourth and the fifth list if the rank is 3000 uh rank is 3000 if uh, uh, assuming that the, there is no category mentioned or no domicile is mentioned Uh, at three thousand, obviously, centralized counselling is not possible. I mean, the seat allotment is not possible. Uh, but then, in the vacant seat, there is a slight chance, although it's not hundred percent confirmed. As I told you, that it fully depends upon that when exactly the counselling is being done. Are are the like like I I remember that one of the years it was around twenty two hundred or twenty three hundred. The entire seats got exhausted, even the vacant seats. Uh, but uh, this year, I would say it should go parallelly in June. i think at 3000 few nlus uh, might be possible one or two or three in the vacant seats uh but though uh, the sir is answering all your questions but still i know we all are curious if you have this rank then which college you will get in the digital world you know we have a solution for everything we have a predictor tool which will help you to know what are colleges you can take admission in if you have a particular or certain rank so i'm sharing a tool link in the chat box you can just have a look at it 
And meanwhile, I'll ask <coughs> more questions to so, sir. Uh, so, sir, next up, we have a question related to the rank only. Uh, so, a person, uh, my rank is 7,612 from the general category and also from the economically weaker section rank is 659 with mm -hmm. Bihar domicile. Should I take part in counselling? Question has been asked by Riddhi. Mm. Unfortunately, in uh, CNLU, there, is, there are e EWS seats are there. Uh, but uh, one should try, although the chances are on the lower side. Uh, actually, the, all the domicile seats are allotted to the non-reserved category. So this is why uh, it is really difficult. But one should try. I mean, uh, maybe maybe uh, sometimes the uh, this thing fluctuates, but chances are on the lower side. Sir, next up, we have a question for vacancy. Do we have to participate in counselling? Uh, just to remind the previous uh, answer which I was saying, that was with the reference of CNLU Patna, right? Yeah. Yeah, what is the next question? So next up, Aditi is asking, what is the process of NRI-sponsored admission and what documents are required? And at what uh, point do we have to submit the hard copy of documents? Uh, it uh, completely depends upon NLU to NLU. They have very uh, different rules. So you'll have to keep an eye on the notification, what they are doing. Generally, what happens, uh, the notification used to come after or somewhere around uh, the last list, the fifth list. Uh, I'm not sure they will start uh, listing from now or maybe again they will start from that 20th June, which is the fifth list deadline. Uh, 15 June, I think the first list is coming, if I'm not wrong. And 20th is the last. So somewhere around that, it should start coming. It used to come at that time. And then the application begins and they try to fill up. Some of the NLUs, uh, particularly GNLU, does that even before that. So uh, it is better to keep watching these, uh, these uh, uh, websites regularly. And uh, whichever NLU, say if you're targeting three or four NLUs, keep watching those NLUs, uh, the, particularly the notification uh, uh, page and uh, and and then check whether uh, they have uh, they are uh, there uh, what exactly the process is uh, the format of that particular document which is actually required also varies so what you need to uh, do is uh, download that particular format and send to your NRA sp uh, sponsor and they will have to uh, usually they have to go to the embassy and uh, get it uh, certified and they can send you a scanned copy later that hard copy can be submitted although again uh, as i told you that the it it completely varies even the application fee could be 1 lakh rupees i mean adjustable to the fee or maybe non refundable 10000 fee or uh, or uh, even sometimes they ask you the document right in the beginning a uh, lot of NLUs will just ask you to apply through a Google form and they'll not ask you for any fees or any document. So it varies a lot. Uh, you'll have to check at the NLU website. So, so I'm taking up the next question and mm -hmm. uh, uh, it has been asked by Gauri Prakash. Silvasa mm -hmm. being initiating admission this year, is it a good option to go for? Definitely a good option. Uh, GNLU brand is there and... Uh, uh, I was talking to Vice Chancellor, sir. Uh, he's very serious about it. He has a vision. And uh, uh, to my mind, because there is a good support by the government, uh, it is likely to grow up like anything. Uh, but at least top 10 rank, it will definitely maintain. Uh, maybe, maybe at par with uh, GNLU main campus because it will go together almost. So it has a very bright future. You can definitely, uh, it should be uh, given a weightage after NLU Odisha, at least. Uh, but few people might prefer it a little before that. Uh, and uh, being the first batch, there will be definitely some risk. Uh, so that calculated risk can be taken. But definitely after NLU Odisha, it's a, it's a, it, it is a good, uh, or after NLU Mumbai, it is a good call. Okay, so, so there's a lady named Kalpana and she's quite confused. She's asking, I got 227 All India ST mm -hmm. rank from Telangana state mm -hmm. email and AIR is 19,805. Which mm -hmm. NLU can I expect? Tamil Nadu is that. I mean, uh, TNLS is highly likely. 
although as i told you that these uh, these ranks fluctuate the cut off fluctuates a lot but highly likely that uh, you will be allotted a uh, seat in tnls and tnls has a very good campus it's well established uh, and uh, it is it is now not among the very new ones so it's a it's a good college there so again next up we have a question from a lady and she is asking she has got a uh, obc rank of 766 rajasthan domicile is mm. there any chance to get admission in a nice law college mm, 760 means uh, the all india rank would be around uh, 15 to 20000 and uh, sam no it doesn't seem to be a chance uh, at least uh, i mean even uh, with the rajasthan domicile it looks very difficult maybe maybe in the all india seat also because uh, there are o all india obc seats also uh, the chances are not good sir next up uh, a person has asked question agar koi bhi technical problem hota hai jaise unke case mein payment failure ho raha hai to wo kya kar sakte hai kahan par report karna hai mm uh, payment failure you can directly talk to the consortium because uh, initially Uh, what would happen is uh, till consortium is there, uh, uh, they will you will have to uh, pay there uh, till the counselling fee. But the payment actually when it is uh, to be done till uh, till the last counselling, it was to be done to the NLU. So it depends. I mean, you need to check if it is being done to the NLU directly. You should talk to the NLU. If it is being done done to the consortium, then they transfer to that particular NLU. and that handover happens uh, uh there is a time frame will be also there when the handover happens like the consortium hands over to the particular nlu so uh to whichever uh, institution you are paying either to the consortium or you can immediately you should uh, call them you know there are helpline numbers and they are very supportive you should also mail immediately uh next up we have a question sir i want to enroll in nlu if only it's a top 5 but if in the first list i am allotted the 10th ranked nlu should i pay the non refundable confirmation fee and should wait for the other list okay uh, the top 5 uh, assuming that the general quota is there and uh, i think the flux uh, gn till gnlu uh, is the sixth best one and i would say that uh, there is doesn't matter fifth one or sixth one i would advise that uh, if the best ones if you want then six colleges should be definitely considered these six colleges uh, in the past 6 7 years the cut off has fluctuated between 400 to 525 rank all india rank this year the seats have been again increased by uh, nliu bhopal has has uh, introduced one course bsc llb and uh, bangalore has also increased the seats further so because of that also it will shift a bit so around 450 500 you can expect 525 as i said you that sometimes because of certain reasons it might fluctuate a bit but if you have a rank beyond uh, 650 uh, then obviously top 6 won't, won't be possible uh, so if you are allotted say uh, even the 10th one you will be only allotted when uh, you will have a rank around uh, 7 800 or 900 or maybe 1000 Uh, because last year the tenth one went up two thousand rank uh, in the last list. So if that rank is there, I don't think these will be any way any way possible. But just to just to risk that twenty thousand rupees, you can keep that option open. But my strong advice would be that RGN or Patiala or NLU Orissa or uh, Lucknow or uh, these colleges are extremely good. So uh, very good, I would say. It's uh, when I say very good, it's I mean very good. uh the future whatever uh, the best options will come to you so it it will be a really a bad call not to join that college and uh, next question is why do we uh, get the counseling invitation if we don't have the good rank like in 10000 um mm, i didn't get i mean uh, if, the if the rank is asking if uh, my rank is 10000 plus is still i am getting the counseling invitation and that means i don't have a good rank still i am getting an invitation so what's the point of it uh what happens the rule is uh, usually i'm i'm saying and i think this year also they have done the same so whatever is the number of seats in that particular uh, quota uh, i mean that particular category uh, 
uh, they multiply it by five and they uh, they offer offer the seed. Uh, this has uh, this way. Uh, I mean, it is quite safe. Even if there are a lot of fluctuations, it is quite safe. But it is based on your wisdom and calculation. You can one can do that. But yeah, they do offer uh, uh, four hundred percent more to the number of seats which is actually there. So usually the last ones do not get a seat, but then fine. Sometimes fluctuations do happen. Uh, so next up is NLU Kochi, NLU Vishakhapatnam. Which one is better, and Kochi. what are the ranks required to get admission in this? Uh, assuming that uh, you are talking about the All India category, uh, then uh, uh, Kochi's uh, there, there, there are very limited seats. All India seats are there, uh, which is around fluctuates between eight hundred to thousand rank. Uh, again, as I told you that year by year it fluctuates a lot. So eight hundred to one thousand. Vizek uh, is can be availed between around 1200 to 1500 rank. Uh, that's the cutoff. And uh, as the cutoff also suggests that Nuwal's coach is, is much older, very well established. It has a, the new campus is quite good and uh, has good uh, better placements. Uh, and every term it is definitely a better college. Uh, so next up, Anuj has a question and he's asking, uh, my SC category rank is 434. Will that okay. help me to get NLU Bangalore? My all India rank is 11,571. If uh, it's very favorable uh, and you're very lucky, you might get RGN with Patiala. That's the best bet you can. Also, that is also... Uh, on the very lesser side, but there is some chance. That's the best. Bangalore is, uh, I mean, you need a 20, uh, 22 rank, uh, SC category rank there. Are, I think 22 seats are there, as I remember. And even if uh, you have, the, like, like last year, I remember the person who had 23 rank is studying in Nalsa right now. Uh, so it's very difficult. No one leaves Bangalore. I mean, uh, NLSIU, Bangalore is the Probably the only institute across the world, uh, till I know, uh, in any category, any stream, where least number of people leave after getting allotted. Uh, NLS Bangalore also has uh, a record that it doesn't ever comes with a second list. Uh, first list, I mean, although it comes, but then it uh, does not en entertain. Rarely you will see second list they have listed very, very few times. Uh, so very few people leave and even in the SC category, the same thing happens. Rare to rare case, one seat or two seats, might there might be a movement. So uh, uh, that is impossible. And even in the other colleges, as I told you, Patiala, but you will get a, get a seat in the other interviews uh, below that. Okay, so we still have 70 plus questions. I'm, I'll just try to combine four or five questions. Yeah, yeah, so I can no see. problem. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so this question is related to, sir, we have a rank range from 3,000 to 6,000 in the woman quota. This mm -hmm. is what they're talking about. So are there possibility to get any NLU? Mm, what rank is there? 3,000, 4,000 or 3, 6,000? All India rank. Yeah. Uh, uh, women quota usually doesn't work. The reason is, it's uh, there are three, four hundred seats are there. Some of the NLUs have that. Some of the NLUs have thirty percent seats reserved for women, but uh, all of them are horizontal. Horizontal means it will work only and only when uh, less than thirty percent women are getting the seat. But girls are do doing quite good, so uh, that 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 quota does not work. And three thousand to six thousand, as I told told, uh, told earlier, also uh, people should try for the vacant seats later. Uh, unless they have some other quota seats, then then even at 3,000, 6,000, 20,000, even like MNLU, uh, MN, there are three MNLUs, Mumbai, Aurangabad, and uh, uh, and Nagpur. So the all, almost 75% seats are reserved, and that too for non-general category. So the cutoff goes down quite a bit. That time definitely, I mean, uh, it can be it can be there. One minute. Uh, I mean, uh, even at 20, 30,000 seats may be allotted. Okay. But and but general category, till 6,000, they should try for in the vacant seats. 
thank you for answering that sir and mm -hmm. considering the, considering the time we are left with i have actually launched a poll so that we can understand whether you like this session or not and whether we are able to answer your queries or not so it has two questions only and you can just quickly fill it up first question you are liking this session or not you can answer it in a yes or no second question you can rate this session from 1 to 10 1 is being the lowest and the 10 being highest and i request you all to poll so that we can just plan for the webinar accordingly uh, so next up, we have a question from Nancy. She's asking, sir, for the admission in NLU PG in ST category and getting which ST rank is the good chance to get admission in? Uh, NLU PG, uh, SCST rank, as I remember, the total number of seats. Uh, uh, till 100th rank, uh, there is a fair chance. It also depends upon which NLU the one is targeting. But even till uh, 200, some some of the vacant seat might get filled up. Uh, next so the question is very vague. Without ranking, it's very difficult to say. Hmm. Right. Uh, sir, approximately how many vacant seats are available per NLU after the centralized counseling is done? As I told earlier, like it completely depends upon in what phase that is being done. Like CLAT was quite delayed. Uh, the counseling was uh, delayed in the Corona times, one of, one of the years. It got closed uh, very, I mean, there were hardly any vacant seats. Uh, otherwise, normally speaking, like say, because now it, it is going on a normal trend. Uh, I think uh, Bangalore, uh, institutes like Bangalore or uh, NLS Bangalore, there's no vacant seat. But uh, Nalsar Hyderabad or uh, uh, NUJS Kolkata, rarely some vacant seats will appear. Uh, then uh, uh, Bhopal or Gandhinagar or uh, Jodhpur usually have two to four vacant seats. Uh, then if you come a little uh, down, then maybe uh, four to 15, 20 seats also might be vacant, maybe 30 till till NLU Odisha. Uh, if, if we come below that, now they are doing it more smartly. They are asking... They're not compelling everyone to fill up the entire preference list. So they, it will be, it is much faster. Otherwise, I used to remember that uh, uh, bottom 12 or bottom 15 used to, every seat used to get vacated. So there was hardly any seat which was filled up. So it used to be a very long process. Even this year, it will be a long process still. Uh, the reason is uh, it can't be helped. The problem is, say, for instance, there are four vacant seats in Anayu Bhopal. Now, the other NLU will notify uh, and say some people from maybe from uh, Gandhinagar or uh, Raipur, they will upgrade. Now, again, at these two institutes, there will be some seats vacated. Again, uh, below that, they will again notify. Just imagine five to seven days are again gone in per listing. And just imagine this chain reaction goes up till uh, NLU Tripura, although NLU Tripura is not... Uh, uh, participating they have announced this year for this year maybe from next year i think they will participate in the counseling they'll do i think separate listing probably this year so uh so i mean uh, uh this way what happens it is a very delayed process so in the uh, bottom and values there are a like, lot of seats are gets vacated uh in a tune of 10 to 30 seats might be there which is which is vacant so, but as I told you, it's very unpredictable. The reason is there are a lot of other, other things uh, throughout the nation, how exactly the process of admission is going on. Uh, even CUCT result will uh, impact, put an impact on it. Even other colleges where uh, they are taking some entrance tests, even a lot of people are parallelly, uh, parallelly applying or trying for some other streams. So this is why it's uh, very difficult to predict that uh, how many seats, but these are the range which I, I hope this will help you. Uh, so, sir, next up we have a question. All India rank is 12,236 in general category and mm. in woman category is 6,744. And the lady is saying, I preferred every NLU. Should I apply for the counseling? If I don't get any NLU, what should I do next? Uh, even the vacancies, like as, as I told that uh, with the women category also, it is not possible. Uh, even in the centralized counseling, it will uh, close below 2000 rank. Uh, and uh, without any domicile quota or something else, uh, it uh, won't be possible. Even in the vacant seat, it doesn't seem to be possible. So uh, may try may try some private colleges. 
uh, which accepts uh, uh, in a range of 10,000 to 15,000 rank. So the next step, sir, when applying for the CLAD, we did not opt for NRI sponsored category, but can we do that now or for the vacant seat stage? No, I mean, uh, the ticking there as a sponsored category, that is a compulsion because CLAT will release a list of people who have ticked there, right? And uh, um, as per my knowledge, all the NLUs, although it, it is a discretion of the NLU, but as for my knowledge, they don't consider. They clearly mention that uh, one should have at least ticked uh, there so that their NRI rank is generated. So they will actually consider the NRI rank. So that way they will. So that was the first, first compulsion to be done. Now the next thing is one has to apply to the institutes, uh, NLUs, which they are actually looking for. Then after that, listing will be done. It will be purely based on CLAT rank only. And uh, there'll be several lists or maybe whatever uh, uh, they decide upon. And accordingly, one has to respond. Uh Yes, sir. So the next step, uh, a question is related to the comparison only because uh, the person is considering the rank is not that great. So hmm. uh, which one is better, UPES Dehradun for law or the OP Jindal School of Law? Any idea about that, sir? No, that's a, that's a very bad comparison. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. Sir. Uh, so Jindal Global Law School uh, uh, is uh, rated 70th in uh, world and uh, uh, there are only two two uh, two uh, law colleges from India, which is in that ranking. That is only National Law School of Bangalore and JGLS. And uh, JGLS does not participate in any other ranking, and I don't have any objective uh, ranking to be shared. So that that says it all. So let's not compare these two. Uh, next up, we have a question from Akhileshwari, and she is asking: Will the cutoff trend be similar to 2022 cutoff? And the second question she's, uh, she's asking, my All India rank is 6,926 and the Tamil Nadu state rank is 53. Will I get Trichy and the Liu? Mm, so All India rank is 6,000 uh, something. And uh, uh, is, is it general category? Have, has the candidate no, mentioned? Uh, she hasn't mentioned this. There are there are domicile general category seats also in Tamil Nadu. There is a there is a chance. There is a chance. Uh, I don't remember the exact cutoff, but uh, or the range of cutoff which has been there in past uh, nine to ten years when TNLS was established. I think there is a fair chance. And uh, in the if not in the vacant seats also, one should try. So uh, in other NLUs, uh, the chances are almost nil. But uh, TNLS there is a fair chance. Many questions are, you know, are, uh, will be left unanswered, but it doesn't mean that Sarah's actually never, actually didn't try to answer it. Sarah has actually gave us a fair idea. If you have the rank range from this and this, you can actually get this college. So you don't need to feel disheartened. And moreover, I'll just keep that webinar page, uh, you know, uh, open for everybody. If you have got more questions, you can post it there and our experts will answer you there. Uh, so quickly, I'll take a few more questions. Aksha Sagir yeah. has a question. Is there a chance of OBC rank 237 with the Uttar Pradesh domicile to get any NLU? Uh, 237 is a little dicey. Uh, uh, um, although, although there are uh, 40 seats reserved on the in the domicile seat, uh, 237. Okay, no, no. There is, a, there is a chance. There is a chance with for the RML Lucknow also. Uh, let's hope, I mean, uh, because it uh, uh, sometimes, because as I told you that it fluctuates a lot. So uh, I, 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 I uh, wish her best of luck. I think let's hope that she gets a seat because there are 40 OBC domicile seat in RML Lucknow. And that's the only uh, place where she can get a seat. So next up, Manya Sharma has a question. She has mm -hmm. got the All India rank of 1,421 in general category. Should she go for the allotted NLU or the private college? Uh, uh, depends upon, like, say, right now I'm not considering JGLS uh, because that is a different type of global college. Uh, among other private universities, I would say uh, uh, SLS Pune or Noida would be a better option than what NLU is likely to get allotted. 
but uh, if NLU is a more of a preference, not much of a difference, because uh, the four colleges NLUs after uh, NLU Odisha and New Al uh, she uh, the the candidate is going likely to get allotted uh, is a good college, if not very good or excellent, definitely a good college. Okay. So next up, uh, a candidate has a AIR rank is 829. Is there a chance to get any top NLU? Uh, top only. I mean, top 10 is 100% confirm and uh, congratulations. This is a very good rank and uh, uh, top 10 uh, I consider as a very top college because till NLU Odisha, the placements are almost 100%. Even NLU Ranchi had 100% placement this year, uh, the last batch. So although the median salary might be a little lesser, uh, but till NLU Odisha, very good quality placement is happening. I mean, till 900 rank is there. So 800 something. Even Odisha or Patiala, the cutoff went up to 1036 and 1000. Uh, around 1050 to 1025. This year it is likely to go down also or maybe a little early. Depends upon. But then uh, as the seats are more, it is likely to go down only. So the, the person is likely to get... Uh, even Lucknow might be there, uh, will be a choice, uh, likely to be. Mumbai also is all likely to be a choice. So among these four NLU, according to the preference list, it will be allotted. And that's already a very good college. Uh, again, next trip related to the women. Uh, quota is 549 and All India rank is 1265. Will I get Patiala NLU? General category. Uh, one, two, six, five, you can try your luck in the vacant seats. You should must apply to these colleges. I think most likely you'll be missing the top 12, uh, but then uh, do try for these. I mean, you never know. Sometimes it might go up to 1300 also. It depends upon how the counseling, at what time it is being done. If it is being, being done prior to a uh, lot of other uh, counselings, then it is likely to be. Otherwise, it might, like Patiala, has closed uh, at 9.50 even after the vacant seats. But I remember it has closed even at 1,600 after the vacant seats. So, uh, I mean, there can be a one uh, very lucky call which you are getting the call from LG in Patiala because very smartly what they do is to fill up the last vacant seats. They start calling and they don't wait for listing. That way, they do it very quickly. So, they keep calling each candidate uh, after that particular cutoff rank. And then... Uh, they, they uh, 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 I mean, uh, as the uh, student confirms, they invite the student to come for the admission. If the student does not come, again, the next person is called. So, uh, must apply and try the luck. Otherwise, as I said, that after that, all the four or five NLUs, which I mentioned, is definitely, is sure. And this recording of the webinar will be available on Siksha YouTube channel. I'll share the link in the chat box soon. And so uh, we would like to have the concluding words from you. Uh, yeah, it's endless thing. Like it's very uh, difficult to cover everything. Uh, but all I would say that uh, the counseling has become very effective, must much, much more efficient now. And uh, CLAT year by year has been improving a lot. Uh, uh, the deadlines, uh, it is already there. You must have received a mail in case uh, you have been uh, allotted. Uh, uh, sorry, you are uh, you are, you have been chosen and you have been invited for the counseling. You must have received a mail. Uh, make sure you are reading uh, those uh, uh, entire instructions. There are deadlines uh, very beautifully in a chart. They have explained everything. Uh, there are some new terms might be freeze like freeze. Uh, I, I have tried to explain what freeze means. In fact, uh, let, let me let me again explain this. This might be uh, there is there is freeze, there is um, uh, exit, and there is uh, float. Right now, freeze means uh, say you are allotted an NLU and you don't want to get upgraded. Right? Say say for instance you were allotted and you just Kolkata, and uh, you have a rank of say around uh, two hundred and thirty four. So there is a, uh, uh, or, or say 182, and you are allotted an uh, Kolkata. Now there is a upgrade option is there. And since your preference list uh, is like the second preference list is, in the in the preference list, you are marked Nalsar Hyderabad as the second one. So you have actually preferred uh, Nalsar more than any jazz. Now there is a chance to get upgraded because the cutoff, if you are able to achieve, you will be upgraded. 
but you do not want that now. Like say your mind has got changed and you don't want that upgrade, freeze it that very moment. So here the freezing option is very effective. Freezing means you don't want any upgrade after this. This is the best possible option for you and you want to stay there. Uh, next one is, uh, and, and then, then you will be in direct contact with that particular NLU uh, or, or whatever way the consortiums ask you to do. But say uh, float option. Float option is the option where if possible, if you are able to clear the cutoff of the more preferred NLU, they, then if you want to keep that chance open, then keep it float. Another one, if you now feel that, okay, you will not be upgraded to those or you'll not be allotted uh, the college which you actually are desiring to, uh, then uh, desiring for, then uh, you can go put the exit option. Exit is means you are out of the counseling and you'll not be considered. These three are very important thing. Deadlines are very important. Uh, when to exit, when to uh, put these and uh, 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 how you can get a refund in case uh, in case it is there. Related to documents, you should keep those things ready. Uh, I'm not sure they'll be asking for the documents, but most likely they will ask you to upload if you are uh, allotted an NLU. They'll ask you to upload the documents, uh, soft copy. The hard copy is usually required when, uh, when, uh, uh, when you, you are actually going to the NLU most likely so i'll wish uh, you all the best and uh, uh, i mean there are a lot of exams very very important exams uh, are still left lsat india will be conducted twice uh, there are a lot of private universities associated with lsat india including jgls uh, then you have uh, slat because symbiosis has four uh, uh, four uh, uh, law schools uh, two of them are quite old and well established and Symbiasis Pune is very good brand. So uh, you must try that one in case you haven't received a rank of around 1100, 1200. And uh, obviously CT Maharashtra, GLC Bombay is, is, is a very good college. I would, I would uh, say that the placement is almost at par with the top six colleges. Maybe after top six NLUs or top, uh, sorry, eight colleges in India, like including NLU Delhi and JGLS which has very good zero day placement. They had all had brilliant placement this year also. After that, I would say that GLC Bombay is having uh, the best placement. GLC Bombay should be taken also very uh, seriously. Uh, the fees is almost nothing. It's five to 10,000 rupees. Uh, the only is the living cost. So that they conduct a CT Maharashtra exam. That's a uh, very good option for you. So three very important exams are coming up. A lot of private law school have their own entrance tests also. So this way, uh, keep a hope and a uh, uh, lot of students I have seen after seeing the CLAT result in case they could not uh, do well, they're directly thinking of taking another CLAT. It's fine, you can take, but I would advise you may take admission in one of the colleges, then also you can try. That is also a good option. And at least try. I mean, these six months, you already have five, six months from now. Uh, you must utilize this. That will help you for CLAT preparation 2024 also in case you want to retake it, whether you join a college or not join a college. But as I would say that the colleges which I mentioned you, four or five colleges, are worth uh, joining and having a brilliant career ahead. So you must try for these exams. So it's time to wrap up our session for today. Thank you so much, sir, for conducting a wonderful session and answering all our doubts. Thank you. Thank you, Shirpa, for uh, giving me the opportunity. Uh, I'm really feeling uh, uh, very happy to answer all the queries. I think uh, this has also relieved me from answering a lot of people on the social media platform, because this way a lot of people together uh, get answered. Definitely, sir. And thank you to all the people who have joined this session. I hope uh, you got the queries answered. And whose questions we couldn't answer, I would request you to post here, I'm just sharing a link in the chat box. You can post your questions here and we'll get back to you. And till then, take care and keep dreaming high. And with this, I am Shilpa signing off. Bye-bye. Thank you. Thank you, Shilpa.